take you back out to Heritage Hill, where Grand Rapids firefighters were called out to a house fire overnight. 24 Hour News 8's Evan Dean has been at that house on Portsmouth Place near Fulton all morning. He's giving us our first up close look at the damage now this morning. Evan? Yeah, Emily, good morning to you. We're at a home on Portsmouth, just north of Fulton. We just learned, since we checked in with you, we learned from fire crews that one of the residents who escaped the second-story apartment, she is going to the hospital. She smashed out a window to escape, and she's expected to get stitches in her hand. As for that firefighter that was injured, he suffered an arm injury. He was taken to the hospital as well, but he is expected to be okay. There were four other residents in the home at the time. They all escaped unharmed, as did a a dog, a cat did die in the fire, but we are now getting a really up close look at this damage. Uh, you can just take a look at how extensive it is. The fire is out now. Crews here are staying on scene, keeping an eye out for any potential hot spots, and a fire investigator is on scene trying to determine exactly what sparked this fire. Now, we know that it split up into three different apartments. Three residents on the lower level, they all made it out okay. They made it out easily. The two in the upper apartment, they could only get down and out through this stairwell. This was full of smoke, so they could not go that way. I'll walk you to the very back of the apartment. This is what they had to do to escape. You can see this garage here, this garage roof. If we back up and take a look, you can see that is where the two residents in the upper apartment, they smashed through that window, got out on this garage roof. They told me earlier today that a neighbor actually grabbed a ladder, helped put that up there, and then when fire crews arrived, they were able to get down. But as you can see walking through here, quite an ordeal for them. The good news is, my, save for those minor injuries to the hand and the firefighter's arm injury, everyone is expected to be okay.